This is an open letter for um, NPR Kelly, Mary Louise Kelly. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't mean to, you know, I don't mean to really, you know, pick on you in specific. It's, it's just that the subjects that you bring up in your segments on NPR seem to me it seems to be the more the most the more propaganda ish part of i think it's all things considered or whatever is the name of your show the point is it's like the subject you you bring up is the most propaganda ish and believe me i have grown a grown i grew up in a country that was you know based on propaganda so i can smell propaganda a mile away because you know you know it's, it's like cubans they have grown up with so much propaganda that you know they smell propaganda a mile away uh, it's, just, it's just they don't smell their own shit but you know they can smell other propaganda a mile away so my point is this the subject came up today so I have to object. I'm sorry for all the open letters, but I have to object. The subject came up today with your guest. It was a lady of some sort from an institution of some sort who obviously gets paid uh, the, the, the falcon just snapped the sparrow. Anyway, Today's subject come up, came up with this lady. The lady gets paid for her opinion, and obviously her opinion is of kind that a lot of people with money uh, like. You know, it's a capitalism. If you like an opinion, you inflate it. You put it behind a microphone, and you bring a certain number of followers to it. You know, advertise and you know bring follow. You know, you you know Kim Kardashian, you. And Taylor Swift, it's sort of like this. This is this is a few inflated people who have been brought, been put in front of a microphone. Uh, by whom? Merit? Yes and no. Yeah, merit has to be there. But the idea is, you know, Kissinger had merit. Noam Chomsky also had merit, and they're both from the same era. But nobody. Noam Chomsky, the ideas are how to make this a better planet, but Kissinger's idea is how can we get on top? You know, in, in, a, in a race of capitalism, we, want, we don't want to be the horse, we want to be the horse rider, the rider of the horse. Anyway, that's the whole relationship between Uncle Sam's managers and Saudi Arabia. You know, we want to be the riders and we were looking for horses. So my point is this: Why, why, why am I reached this, this conclusion? I mean, why I'm a, a little pissed off is because the, the 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 lady basically said we need to do a little more propaganda for for uh, for democracy. That, that was the gist of the lady's point in your program, which you agreed with, was that we need to do more more propaganda. For democracy and i was thinking to myself are you kidding me so you have you have no results to show for it here's the thing ma'am I'm, I'm not saying that the shithole that i was in was any better that was worse that's why i'm here that's a shithole but you know it's in, tr in traditional sense for the age that it is with the conditions that it is it's a shithole i don't want to be part of it but if you say i have a better system don't don't tell don't tell me that you know i want to advertise we should advertise our system more just show me it works just show me it works and you don't need to advertise it but show me it show, show me the results like you know you know, J Jerry Maguire, you guys have this this thing that show me the money. I see a lot of money in very few hands. And those few hands 
pick who to inflate, what message to send. And nine out of ten times, whoever has more money for advertisement wins. Nine out of ten times. Eight out of ten times. Seven out of ten times. If 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 if, if by advert if if the if if the common man can be persuaded by advertisement more advertisement as in like finding more customers for our toothpaste if if voters can be you know persuaded purchased persuaded by just spending more money on advertisement then you know that can't be a good system because always more money wins nine out of ten eight out of ten times more money wins so people with more money get their way that's you know your way people with what i'm trying to say is that shitty system that i came from that's just a shit show but you you're not you haven't shown better results in terms of quality of life in terms of you know how you haven't gone uphill in in western democracies it's sort of it was uphill as long as everybody else in the world needed your technology but if they, if they caught up technologically one way or another then you're no longer on top of the horse that's the whole idea of the anglo-saxons we want to be the horse riders that's the whole idea of humanity we want to be the slave owners not the slaves we want to be the horse riders not the horse you can do that here's the thing why you keep pushing your system okay you want to push your system show me Finland show me Finland in your system and this whole nonsense that the, that a lot of progressives basically say yeah yeah we need more money but we are okay with you know all the money going to defense going to you know make smoke somewhere in the world either in the training range or in the outer range the result of all this activity is more smoke and more dead bodies I, I'm sure everybody can be educated it's just that you're not even educating your own people your defense budget is 10 times your 10 times 20 times your education budget you see if the idea is we are going there to do good first first show me the money show me you have good then invite yourself to do good education housing drug issues quality of life issues all have gone downhill except you know mr bezos and mr you know bill gates and other fo a few a few folks own basically <laughs> they own us a few people own you you and i and everybody else and they just want to spread the empire and own more people i mean you know going to india is amazon loves to have 10,000 warehouses in india as well why not but they all end up in you know jeff bezos's pocket i'm just a poor guy I'm, I'm, i mean jeff bezos bezos like you know a lot of people without the baggage of mr bezos as in without the note not not without being so noticeable as Mr. Bezos, there are many as rich as him or like him that are, you know, they go without notice. It's not working. You see what I mean? Everything has bunched up in a few hands, and you, as the propagandist and your guest, base everything has ended up in a few hands. You have, you know, the whole industry that is connected with the expansion of the empire in the military industrial complex you have that avenue that a lot of resources are 
uh, used up, literally going up in smoke. But and then you have education and housing and you know quality of life, health, quality of life of your own people, which you have neglected infrastructure more or less you see where i'm going with this so the point is this show me the money show me that you have done very well for yourself and then tell me that we need to sell our message here our message is democracy your 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 you should choose your leader based on the common man's vote and as we have experimented in our system the common man can be you know advertised to him and make him change his mind let me put it this way russia had one democratic president he was boris yeltsin i hope i'm pronouncing that name russia had one democratically elected president and you know gorbachev who he still wasn't elected he was the old system but the point is this that the system didn't work that we agree on bad bad idea like the guy said uh, wrong species that system doesn't work for human species but they had one democratic president mr yeltsin and do you remember his you know how he was laughed all at all over the world as a drunk fool and you see Mr. Yeltsin, you had Mr. Yeltsin and Mr. Bush from that side and this side or Bush or Nixon or Clinton with all his baggage or and these are these are the main main ones the top top is head of executive and the legislature is you know they basically catch the guy when they want to not not when they find out he's, he's taking bribes <laughs> when they find out he's taking bribes that then he's compromised then he's he he's 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 more malleable so they all become you know the idea that no 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 we should go over there teach them how it's done are you doing it is the results there to show if you have a good result mrs uh Ms., mrs kelly uh if you can show me the results show us everybody the planet show us you know the high high speed rail network and show us uh, the the you know every, it's like three quarters of this showing off is done by one person mr musk thank you to him but Boeing's plane, the Boeing has been building planes for a hundred years and now after a hundred years the planes keep falling off the sky. That's that's inefficiency, wouldn't you say? If their planes, if it, what, why is the inefficiency? Because it's a monopoly, you know. Airbus Boeing, duopoly. Are you kidding me? They're more worried about their bottom line that they, they, they want to pay the labor shit and they want to spend on the product shit so they can profit more. Are you serious? This is the economy, but isn't the legislature supposed to be watching the, the economy? you know the legislature is all they're all looking outside yes in asia and africa and south america we have to go we have to advertise boots on the ground we have to show them how it's done how is it done like this education housing health the well-being of the population how is it done Everybody is working three jobs. Mr. Bezos has a super tank here. He calls it a, a yacht. It has worked for some. The system works for some. As I left a note for Mr. Inskeep, 
uh, says the guy was saying that you have a system and unfortunately back home we don't have a system. Yeah, yeah, they have a shitty system too. Everybody has a system. As long as there's no, where there is civil war, there is no system. But so civil war is the breaking of the system. That you want to prevent. But if there's somewhere is stable, let the fucking thing be stable. Don't tell me this is in our interest. So it's not in, the, in, in spread of democracy that apparently it's supposed to work only for them. It doesn't work for us. We want to bring it to them. Are you kidding me, folks? Are, are, you, are you folks serious that, that you go so far forgive me, up your own asses in the back over there, you go so far up your own asses that you're telling me your, 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 the crude suggestion is you're pissing on my foot and you're telling me it's raining. <laughs> it's not. It, it, you, you, it's there, it's all in statistics. The system that you are so worried about exporting is not working. Do you want to fix that or do you want to continue exporting your system? <laughs> I, it's like if, if the Finnish people tomorrow morning, if the idea is betterment of others, Taiwanese and Ukrainians and uh, the Arabs over there in, the, in, in West Asia, if, if it's for the betterment of them, okay, show us at home, and then say, okay, now we want to take this system to them. And at that point, if you can show it at home, people are educated enough that people understand, you know, they should not value last names, they should value ideas. and. They don't, do they? Name recognition is a whole big thing in your democratic system. Name recognition? Okay, the guy was good at some job, or the guy's father or grandfather was good at some job. It doesn't mean he's good at it. This whole idea of name recognition is basically monarchy. You have a you know, a, 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 a large chapter in your book of how to be democratically elected, you have a large chapter about, uh, you know, name recognition. If somebody writes a book for an alien, writes a book for an alien describing how democracy works in reality, you find out that, you know, it's name recognition is a big part of it. Oh, not having a high... I, not having a high IQ is not part of the election process, but, you know, having a good hair is in this important in the election process. If that's, a, that's the norm, then you're, whatever you, the system is called, you're not executing it right. Whatever you want to call it, the system in which name recognition and hairstyle and, you know, are part of choosing who is the best thinker folks how many you know really intellectual representatives in this does your system produce i don't care what you name it how many really intellectual people with mm, intellect how many of them are chosen in your system 0.00001%? No, thank you. That's not a good system. I don't care what you call it. If the people sitting in the Senate and in the House, if they are not intellectuals, if, if they don't have a high IQ, and they are not intellectuals, then I don't care what you call your system. It's not going to work. The representatives have to be intellectuals. And your system have to be in a way that doesn't entertain Mr. Kissinger's ideas, but entertains Mr. Chomsky's ideas about how to make a better planet. When, in your, when you are in the position of making it, 
you know, this, this, this monopoly of the, this, that, that Uncle Sam's managers had was a great time to, you know, forge a new system based on basically equality of the planet and spreading the wealth and spreading, you know, you went about conquering, you know, you gave the reign, your democratic system gave, gave the reins the, the, to the most Yahoo people they could find, the most compromised or Yahoo, Reagan was an actor, He's, he had the intellect of an actor. How much of an intellect can an actor have? You no, know, actor's life is not spent, you know, having deep thoughts between shots. But then one of, you know, best recognizable, best recognized of your president is a B-movie actor with I don't know. I don't think his IQ was high. How can we best go about doing a propaganda for our system in Africa and South America and Asia and you know how do we go about beating the the Russians and the Chinese and Tucker Carlson in this game of propaganda? It's not a game of propaganda. Show me the results. The, the, your democratically elected Senate or House or together, whatever, recently passed a, okay, children should not go f without food. Well, the Chinese have been doing it for, you know, ever the, since the revolution. And ch their children go, don't, either the whole population go to famine or if there is, they make sure their children are fed at school. That's, uh, Japanese had had this forever. Have, do you, uh, recently, your system recently decided, yeah, just like healthcare, your system recently decided that, yeah, we have to. You know, if John McCain had done what has done one decent thing, thing in his life, it was voting down the overthrow of this half ass healthcare system that you have. That's if his, if John McCain has done one thing in the right thing in his life, it was that. Prevented the going back to the cave with regards to oh nope, the tribe is not willing to pay for your medical <laughs> benefit. For your healthcare, the tribe doesn't care if you die in, in the poorhouse. The tribe, for the tribe, is important to go kick ass over there. Are you kidding me? It, it's it's when you don't tell me how we can go about, you know, making better propaganda for our system. Show me the result of that system. And then tell me that, okay, now we have this system. Show me that. Even if you're a salesman, even a salesman has to show me the product to try to sell it to me. Even a salesman, if you're going as low as a salesman, even a salesman has to show a product before he can sell it. You don't have a product. You don't have the best healthcare system. You don't have the best educational system. You don't have the best housing. You don't have the best quality of life quality of life for your people in a few places i worked in in your system the idea we were told basically in, in a understand the understanding was that if you if you ask for a vacation then you know you won't have a you have to come and reapply you have to reapply for the job if you go if you want to take a few days off that's your system. The, your, your legislature has been put in place by a bunch of rich people that, you know, in this legislature don't care if people in Amazon's warehouses are, you know, getting dehydrated. 
and the best thing that Amazon, the next best thing that Amazon thinks to do is that, oh, okay, uh, we're just going to add robots, bring robots, so we don't have to depend on these shed heads. These shed heads have to buy your products. You don't even want to employ them. <laughs> Here's the thing, ma'am. Show me that it works. Then tell me you want to sell it. Show me a product and then tell me you want to sell it. It hasn't worked for you, has it? You know, the, the thing that has worked for you is the Constitution. Thank God for that. That, that thing, you know, has worked. Especially this First Amendment thing, or else I would have been dead long ago. <laughs> but the whole idea is that, you know, I, I know I'd be dead when if I go back to the shed hole I, I was born in, because, you know, that's, that's their system. You, you talk out of order, you die. Uh, well, I don't want, that's why I'm here. So thank God for your system that has this free, free speech thing. So, you know, you... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to die <laughs> for taking a, um, uh, making a claim. I might be wrong, but the idea is show me your system works. Show me, show me China. Have you built your, your system like China, your place? While China was, you know, building the country, the other ones that were building their country. I'm sorry, you just go to other places and tear their country down. Have you noticed this? Does it, do you not see that? Do you not read the news, uh, uh, folks at NPR? Dear friends at NPR, love you, man. Do you not read the news? The news is that it. Let's just say the news is that the infrastructure can do with some TLC at home in Uncle Sam's land. That's in the news, but then, and has been in the news for a long time, but then the budget goes into, let's go tear their shit down, because their shit is not built right. Just like what Israel is doing in Palestine right now, they go tear these villages down, basically telling the, these Bedouins that no no this is not how, this is not how it's done we have a concept we call it suburbia and we got tile roofs and shingles and that's how it's done and we have you know we bring order to your disorderly Bedouin way that Bedouin that's his order you, you, this is not progress. If it has to be forced down people's throat, that's not progress. Anything that has to be forced down, you see this, the Middle East, those countries that are still trying to enforce hijab, you know, enforce hijab. That's, if you have to enforce it, it's not progress. If you have to force your people to get educated, it's not progress. They have to want to be educated. And if they're not, they don't want to be ed educated, is because who are their examples? The top guy was George W. Bush. That's his example. It's like, so it's not merit. What, what then? What is it? Why? Why? It, what? What is the guy has to work hard towards? When you, you know, the leaders of the tribe in your system whatever it's called, the leaders of the tribe are chosen by rich people and usually these leaders are not really bright. Usually they're not very bright. And you, you don't want, your system doesn't allow for choosing of bright people. And they admit it themselves. Mr. Bill Maher has a movie, Religious, and in it, he actually, a couple of these representatives they admit it. They, say, they come out and say that you don't have to be a genius to be a representative or you don't have to be a genius to be a senator. And he said it. Some guy said it on camera. And you're like, 
so you have a system it's it's called democracy and in your i'm an alien so to an alien you explain to me that we have a system it's called democracy and then we have this three ring circus for a year prior to execution of the system that we got when during these ten this year two year period they do a lot of you know advertising like toothpaste and each one advertises more his guy but you know this guy probably can't read certainly can't write maybe may or may not be compromised and accusations are a lot nothing certainly proven <laughs> but the whole idea is like okay after all the circus are you getting a genius up there salute you're not even getting a genius up after all this song and dance show of the system you call democracy after all this song and dance show the smoke and mirrors with all these the representatives in the house and the senator after all this routine after all this dog and pony show the one that is elected or the handful a hundred senators that are elected they are not even they admit that they are not really bright what problem have you solved then you know democracy only works if benjamin franklin is in charge you know or anybody that he was around at that time democracy only works if the boxers are not in charge neither are the salesmen nor are the you know gigolos and frat boys and if, if you can show me a system that you know frat boys don't get the rain I say so you got this good system if you show me a system that you know makes sure this I don't care what you call it that intellectuals only get the rain intellectual with deep scars of life in them if you show me that they get the rain I show you that uh, that that would be a good system I show I can assure you that would be a good system but your system doesn't put intellectuals in charge it's money talks and rich people have money and rich people really don't like intellectuals especially not as representatives rich people don't want their employees to think for themselves rich people want employees and one of their employees happen to be a senator or representative they pay him just like they pay their other employees except in this case they call it donations I have to pay my labor force but I like to pay my representative <laughs> I have to pay them but I like to pay them that's the only difference they like to pay the representatives but they feel they have to pay the the, the labor that's how that's little that, that's the little difference the idea is that the representatives are chosen by rich people this is your system and for a long time periods of time they all they have created has been war the founding fathers it's like after the revolutionary war they haven't they didn't have war for a short period of time and then the salesman got in charge came the salesmen and the magicians and this and that mostly salesmen get the reins of your democratic system because they can sell themselves well they declare themselves as the product I am the candidate I am the product they sell themselves well therefore they win elections are, are you are you serious are you kidding me and there's no IQ test involved there's no IQ test there is no you have to qualify none of that we just pull one once once every four years we, we pull one out of our ass and that's it we got one tough luck people felt bad the common man felt bad so the common man picked Hitler and the common man felt bad and the common man the British common man still feels they need a monarchy 
over their head. Seriously? The common man can be persuaded to do anything with enough incentive, with enough advertisement. India has had the oldest your system, democracy in the world, India. And China has got a system you, you, you don't think it's the right system, correct? Where are they now? They started about at the same level. I put it down to the fact that China said, no, we don't need democracy. We have intellectuals in charge. They want to, they have an, an, we see that intellectuals just don't go attack other countries. Don't want to. Un unless they have to. Taiwan is China. Ukraine has to be in very good because of so many Russians living in Ukraine has and, and Ukraine being part of the Black Sea only warm water port of Russia that Ukraine has to be on board with Russia that's understandable that's for the same reason Argentina the Argentina demands the the Malvinas back because hey this is my land it's got on the map is like a hair distance from this island so of course it's ours you you got you in you incentivize some british citizen to move to that island and then you call it the democratic system because then once in a while you take a vote on that island to find out if these British citizens who are living there with very, with very good subsidies by the British government, you ask them whether they want to be part of Argentina and they say no. They're living on subsidies. They're incentivized to live there. They're a bunch of British folks. And immigration from Argentina to Malvinas is not allowed so that's you know we have we have five British people there and once once every few years we take a vote and these five British people who are living on very good subsidies vote that they want to still remain part of the mother England that's democracy India has been a democracy it's a shit show it's a shit show of its, of its own category it's not even comparable democracy no I'm sorry please show show me the result whatever Finland has they are they also call their system democracy whatever Norway has before you you know put a flea in their pants with the situation in Ukraine what what Uncle Sam's managers managed to do was basically throw a, in my humble view what Victoria Nolan and the people Uncle Sam's managers managed to do with Ukraine is literally put throw a flea in the European pants they Europeans could have some kind, come to some kind of agreement with Russia, especially over allowing Ukraine to be neutral. Ukraine. Here's the thing: where NATO was, no war started. So whatever doesn't start anything, the homeostasis. That that's the condition in which, if it's good, let it be. Let's go back to a condition in which we don't want to improve it by joining NATO. We want to go to a condition in which all the buildings were standing. What was that condition? We need to go to back to that. The condition was Ukraine was neutral, right? You try to change conditions on the board to because of your interest. But somehow in this system you part of the you, you can only justify your interest by saying that no 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 it's democratic 
that's what we are going we are there to say freedom and democracy I'm sorry their buildings were standing I think they prefer their buildings standing than whatever your system you're selling that's not even working for you their system in in the, in the old system in their old system it was working in their old system it was working in the neutral system the, the neutral place that they had at least the, all their buildings were standing no almost half the country is unrecognizable and this is to what because democracy is so important the guy got democratically elected then after election he declared no more elections <laughs> until we win the war or you know until death do us part very democratic and your democratic system is celebrating this undemocratic system your democratic system celebrates your democratic system celebrate Israel which is the whole shit show that's going on for the past year or so in Gaza your system protects you know is an advocate for Saudi Arabia and their system is not so democratic your system is a advocate for Egypt their system is not democratic your system is advocating for a whole lot of very undemocratic system and your system is democratic so are you telling me a democratic system is a good system your your democratic system in which supposed to be a good system is advocating for a whole lot of undemocratic system in fact enforcing them helping them south africa was helped to remain an undemocratic system if whatever your system is called that system if it's advocating for such horrible systems as south africa and israel then your system cannot be a really good system because it's, ad it's advocating for shit absolute shit show they're advocate they used to advocate for south africa until the end the very end now they're advocating for israel until who knows when if if you what i don't care what you call your system if your system advocates for whatever this is if, if your system advocate for whatever this is advocate your, your system advocates for such a horrible system then your system must be wrong 